if you already haven't check out the dsa master sheet and also do check out the corresponding article for today's video in this blog now this problem simply says that you are given the count of servers that communicate which means that you are given a m cross n grid where one means that there is a cell that is a server and zero means that it is a no server so as you can see there's a grid one zero and uh, zero one one means a server one means a server same way one zero one 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 zero one one same way one one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero and zero 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 one as you can see this is the corresponding grid which is given to you now for you you have two servers are said to communicate if they are on the same row or on the same column so he can communicate with any server who is in his same row or in his same column as you can see there is no server who is in the same row or same column thus he cannot communicate with anyone so he cannot communicate with anyone he also cannot communicate with anyone you have to return the number of servers that can communicate with any other server but in this case they both cannot communicate with anyone thus answer is zero in this case this server can communicate with this server this one can also communicate with this one this one can communicate with this one so obviously what will happen this can also communicate with again i am not saying that this server can communicate with all of them no this one can communicate with any one of the other servers same way this one can communicate with any one of again there's a stress on any any one of the other servers and same way this one can this one can communicate with any one of the other servers thus the answer is three cool last example as you can see this one can only communicate with this server this one can only communicate with this server okay this one can only communicate with this server this one can only communicate with this server okay and then ultimately this one cannot communicate with anyone thus the answer will be one two three and four answer is four now as soon as when i first read this problem i thought of that it's a graph problem that okay uh, i will have one more let's say computer here then uh, these will be in one component like component and then i just have to find the number of nodes number of nodes in all components but component size should be more than equal to more than uh, one i thought maybe this is the problem right which means simply traverse get the corresponding component size and again firstly when i say traverse i mean make the corresponding graph uh, you know simply get the corresponding uh, nodes and then get the corresponding component size if the component size is more than one then simply add component size in your answer and simply keep on traversing this is what i thought of when i first read the problem but the again it, it can be solved with this strategy also but uh, the same moment i realized that uh, there was a very one thing which i stressed on that any any node so for him to be counted in my answer i just need to know is there any another node in his row or column which means again i'm saying any another node which means technically i am trying to stress towards that if i take if i take the column count this will say column count this will say column count this will say let's say row count row count row count here you can see column count is 2 right here the column count is 1 here the row count is 1 here the row count is 2 so for this node i can see the column count is 2 which means in this column in this current column i comma j or i should rather say as a 0 comma 1 i can easily say that i have two computers in the same column so again one computer in the same row but two computers in the same column if that's the case oh this will be added in my answer so simply answer increased by one then i go to the next computer next computer says okay for him he also has two columns so two computers in his columns which means it is more than one which means apart from me i have someone else also in my same column thus answer increased by one again for him in his column there is only himself but in his row there is someone else again i'm only concerned about someone else just add a plus one also 
Thus, I realized that I don't need a graph. I simply need to know one very basic thing, which is number of computers in a column and number of rows, sorry, number of computers in a row. So what this will say? Again, uh, how I can count it? I can simply start iterating. I can simply start iterating on every cell. 0, 0, then 0, 1 and so on and so forth. So on and so forth. It will be 1, 2. It will be 2, 2. It will be 3, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Then I can simply update the corresponding column uh, and the corresponding row matrix. Not a matrix, but a simple array. This will say that, oh, at this specific column, I encountered one computer. Increase the count by one. Encounter one more computer. Increase the count by one. No computer. Zero. No computer. Zero. Okay. But when I was updating here, thus, at this row also one computer, thus increase by one. At this row, one more computer, thus increase the count by two. Okay, let's proceed forward. Then next place, no computer, no updation, no computer, no updation. At this column, one computer. Okay, update the count. At this row, one computer, update the count. Okay, then simply proceed forward. No computer, okay. No computer, no computer, okay. This row, one computer, increase the count. This column, one computer, increase the count. Okay, again, right now I'm just building the count. You know, this will in next iteration help me to get the corresponding answer. Then again, uh, no, like, no computer, no computer, no computer, no computer. Ultimately, here in this row, one computer, update the count. And in this column, update the count. Now I have updated the count. So now I know for each column and each row, what is the number of computers in that specific row or column? Now, I will go on to each and every computer. So, I'll go to this computer. I will ask him, is, will he add in my answer? Like, basically, my answer in the very beginning is zero. So, will he contribute to my answer? I will check if in his row or column, if the count is more than one, which means the row count or column, like if it is more than one or the column count is more than one then only this computer can add in my answer again. Only this computer can add in my answer. So basically, I should go on to all the computers only, right? So I'll just simply check, okay, uh, as row one is more than one, so he will add in my answer. Answer became one. Then next row, I next, next, next cell I go on to, his also row value is more than one. He will also add in my answer. Next one, oh, he is not even a computer. So skip it, not a computer, skip it. Not, skip it, not, skip it. Next computer, his row, no, his column, yes. His column is good one, increase the count. Then next, no, next, no, no computer, no computer. Next cell, oh, row is one, but column is two. Yes, increase the count. Column is two, increase the count. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, he's a computer, row one. Oh, row, column, also one. Ah, sorry, this will not add the impact in my count. Thus, my answer is five. Thus, my answer is, sorry, answer is four only. So what do you guys, if I would have used a graph instead, I would have had a visited cell, I would have had, you know, entire graph, all that stuff. This will ultimately would have given me a space complexity of O of M into N, if I would have used a graph. But right now I only use simple arrays, which means a column array and a row array. Thus, my space will be of size O of M plus N. M rows and n columns and that will be my space and this will actually help me leverage the space let's see the code it's very same firstly we did on the entire matrix of 2d grid and updated for any cell update its corresponding row count and its corresponding column count when this is done iterate on the entire matrix again and check if that specific you know cell is a computer only and only when it is possible when it is one and either its row count is more than one or its column count is more than one this will add an impact in my answer and ultimately return the answer thus you saw that time will be o of n into m because you are going on to all these cells but because you are using simple array cells sorry array uh, which is row count and column count the space will be o of m plus n
cool i hope you got it again i told you my intuition also in the beginning but then easily realized that uh, we have to figure out that okay what is the actual requirement because the requirement can be pretty less here i didn't want to know any component size if the component size would have been a case then i would have you i would have have to have to use a craft traversal but not in this case that is the reason i was easily able to do it cool the article will be, will be visible here and the link also i will attach in the description and in the comment section also see you goodbye take care